so it's so great to when you are you are put in a position where you need to share your experience in front of people whether it's in a leadership role or or here as a trainer or a participant sharing their experience there's something really incredible in really connecting with each person that chose to come today and think what everyone feels and uh, thinks what is going going on for each person and how can we be of benefit i know that in the past i would try everything not to feel and think what i think and for sure not what everyone else is thinking because that would be total paranoia but remaining open uh, and clear is just easy to connect with everyone not being afraid anymore from thoughts emotions and sensations a friend sent me an email a few days ago an email that i sent him like over six years ago before i met the training and I, when I read it, I was like, wow, that's so sweet. It's a totally different person. You know, the attempts to be funny, the attempts to be liked. All of this kind of primitive way of being, uh, I was like, wow, this, this is so obvious. And really reflecting how through the gift of the Four Mainstays, the support structure of Balance You, my life shifted completely. Speech, mind, body, qualities and activities are aligned with reality rather than when, uh, with a... Uh, a wrong belief systems and assumption about what a human being is, you know, trying to be someone, trying to prove that I'm right, trying to be popular and liked and all of this kind of nonsense, to really be open to simply take it easy. Rest deeply in the powers of great benefit that are innate to us as human beings. I also came to the training with lots of ideas about what it, a human being is and what the universe is and consciousness and all those exciting esoteric things, you know, like, oh, it's so exciting. I'm so spiritual right now. When I read, oh, look at me, I'm reading this book that uh, t talks about reality. But the end, at the end of the day, am I really capable to deal with day to day life? Am I? And if I need to be honest, no, maybe I'm more flexible, I have more uh, new words in my vocabulary in different languages, but am I able to deal with everyday life with openness, ease and solution orientation, or am I still emphasizing my thoughts and emotions as though they had an independent nature? And the answer, it was hard for me to admit, but the answer was no, I can't. I tried a lot, I, I seeked a lot, I was searching and doing all kinds of things, but I, at the end of the day, I, w I was just the same. When my mother called me, most probably I would be pissed off. <laughs> when my girlfriend didn't put the right spice in the food, everything raged, like, uh, relax, for God's sake, it's just spice, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, but then I tried to memorize and thinking, oh, yeah, I should... I should have only positive thoughts and emotions because it's a loving relationship. It's my mother. I should have only positive thoughts and emotions. And all this effort and trying to be something that I'm not was totally contrived and full of effort, totally full of effort. And imagining also that up there, down there, somewhere in the secret, there is like a special place. A special place that I'm the flawed one need to find and connect to. The flawed person needs to achieve this greater unity with something that is much bigger. But then we stop thinking for a moment, boom, open intelligence is present. Open intelligence is your own intelligence. It doesn't belong to the government. It doesn't belong to the ashram. It doesn't belong to the books you read. It belongs to you. It belongs to us. This is our birthright. No one can control this open intelligence. It's wild and free and always beneficial. When we stop thinking for a moment, it's just a way to introduce ourselves and say, hey, hey, whoa, I ignored you all my life. I assumed that you are something else, but now I recognize you. Let's have love. Let's make love. You connect to open intelligence and then from that moment onward, the introduction is clear. It's made and no need to effort anymore. And then, of course, all of the thoughts and emotions, what we call data, all the experiences, they shine forth, they continue to appear. And this is another key point. 
The appearance of thoughts and emotions, whether they are positive, negative or neutral, is not a sign of failure or that open intelligence disappeared somewhere. It's a sign of only, it's only a sign of being a human being. Right, you know, it's a sign of being a human being. To sit there all day long and think, I shouldn't think this, I shouldn't feel this, how deadening and neutralizing it is. Thinking that negative thoughts belong to the bad people, it's also something wrong, or just to the politicians again. They for sure have bad thoughts and emotions. So we kind of take it back to the basics, what it means to be a human being, what runs the show really. And this is open intelligence, the power to know. The power to be open and free in every given moment, and that's the practice of short moment. We take it one short moment of the t at a time, where we instinctively recognize open intelligence. And that's how we learn about true leadership. Leadership in a conventional way is, is terror and horror. Not only that you need to deal with your own shit, you need to deal with everyone else's shit and call it a day. And I, I would run to the beach and never come back <laughs> from this kind of leadership position. So for all the courageous people, wow, I admire you. But uh, once we are we seeing the true leadership cannot come about if we are not clear about the leadership of our own society of data streams, it's really uh, contrivance will be the best word. So great that you're open now after all these years to learn more and you will see that once that you recognize this innate and natural leadership within yourself, then leadership of others becomes easy. We serve. We not govern. As leaders, our role is to serve others, not to govern. What a relief. I don't need to know it all. I don't need to do it all by myself. I can really cooperate with the intelligence of the universe that is expressed in other people. Ask them what do they think. So different from conventional leadership. But this is why we need the four mainstays, the support structure. And as human beings, we are part of nature, nature's intelligence, you know, the beauty of everything working seamlessly. Who said that we jumped out of it? Do we need to uh, effort to reach there, to this sacred place? Do we need to... Where is this secret place? Where is the secret, tr secret treasure? It's in each thought and emotion. And for me, the greatest relief was to see that it's in my negative thoughts and emotions. When, when I, re I instinctively recognized it, I was like, why no one told me about it? I was so pissed. I was so pissed off that I was ready to, to go all over the world and share that there is a message and that's what I'm doing ever since. <laughs> My negative thoughts and emotions, the ones that I try to breathe out, that I want to stretch, that I want to massage and manipulate, they are allowed to be as they are. Like I would allow the brilliant stars in the sky when there's no electricity and everything is just shining to be as they are. I won't see them. Mm. You naughty star, wish you would fall now, you know, like with all the, the rev revenge and kind of primitive force of a warrior. The, all of this is subsumed to warring for the benefit of all, not compromising anymore not compromising, not looking at ourselves as though we are broken pieces of human beings, limited entities that somehow need to manage and struggle through the day. Every day is so brilliant. Every day is so brilliant. Every day in my experience is brilliant even if it's totally boring in the description level. You know, nothing exciting. I didn't take drugs yesterday. My day was amazing. Before I thought that in order to enjoy and call a day amazing, I need to get so wasted that I won't remember what happened and also the people around me won't remember what happened and then like recover for a week after. <laughs> so that would be, wow, that was so much fun. And, uh, but it's not the same anymore. And with the practice of short moments, we really see through all addictions. But you know, the main and most exciting thing is to see them through the most fundam fundamental addiction. And this is the addiction to reification, addiction to emphasizing thoughts and emotions. Then this takes care of everything else. With some addictions, it was easy for me. Suddenly, I was with uh, a friend after a few months into the training, and th they offered me a cigarette and a, a glass of wine. And I was like, no. And they asked, did you stop smoking and drinking? And I said, 
And, uh, wait, let me think about it. Actually, yeah, I forgot about it. That that's what I used to do a lot. And that was a surprise. And with other addictions, it took a few years of actually using the support and really taking short moments during the, before, you know, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm going, uh, you shouldn't do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to, you know. <laughs> and you have the Diablo and the saint and you're like, oh, uh, and you go for it, <laughs> yeah. And then you do it and you forget yourself completely, all the rush and excitement, headaches and paranoia, it's all mixed with great joy and you're, oh, you're like, ah. I'm heightened, that's it, it will stay for the rest of my life, I'm the best, I, it's good that I went for it. And, and then after an hour, or after everything finishes, you're like, oh, why did I do it? It's very familiar in God, I love that you all understand me. <laughs> like, oh, why did I do it? I feel so sick, I feel so wretched, oh, wow. What should I do now? So you see, before, during and after, that's what you want to pump up these short moments. You want to instinctively recognize a short moment of open intelligence that includes the going for it, the not going for it, being totally indulged in it, and then feeling regret that you did it again. Oops, I did it again, a famous poet said. <laughs> so, so for me, I had to, with specific addictions, it took me many times that I, and then at one point you see that the bright sun of open intelligence shines these planets and stars, they're still there, you know, data is still there, but the bright sun of open intelligence outshines them. So then we have a clear choice of what to do and how to take care of ourselves, you know, it's not like stop it, don't stop it, it's really bring open intelligence to the situation and then you'll know what will be of most benefit. Some participants in Balance View smoke, others don't, so there's no agenda here, there's no the flawed agenda and the bad agenda, you know, nothing of that. You will know, you're smart enough to know, you're intelligent enough to know. And it's really exciting, because we face ourselves exactly as we are. We see our strengths, gifts and talents and inseparable from that we see also all the places where we hide away from the power of benefit. All the ways that we try to keep ourselves small, all the ways that we are trying to micromanage our day-to-day -day life in order to feel life satisfaction. So this is really exciting and that's why it's essential to have a practice that works and it's guaranteed. Short moments repeated many times until it becomes continuous we have the training, which is an outrageous source of wisdom, current wisdom in current language, that will push all your buttons for the benefit of all, and will soothe your being in ways that you've never been soothed before. Just life satisfaction, just by hearing, reading, and participating in trainings, and also there's a trainer. And this is the person where most people, most participants in the beginning have most resistance for the one of the mainstays. And why is that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because most of us are from a white culture. But um, what we come to see is like when I go to my dentist, she's amazing. Uh, I don't go and like, mm, she doesn't know anything. I know it by myself. I can do it by myself. I will give myself the injection. I will take, you know, I'm not, I don't, have to, I don't even think about it. I just go and I trust her because she's been there before me. She's She's doing a great job. She's proving, my, she's proving herself to be trustworthy and I just seek her support in the field of dent, going to the dentist. And with a balanced view trainer, we are like, ooh, what do they want from me? <laughs> Why someone loves me so much and wants to care for me and empower me? You know, what, 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 what's wrong with them? I'm a nobody. <laughs> but after a few connections, you know, uh, email communication with the trainer, we see that their sole purpose is to support us. So for those of us who are trying to do it without the trainer or without one of the other mainstays, we will not get the results. My, our life might improve a bit, but then we won't get the guaranteed results. It's an algorithm, so as simple as that. And there's also a community of shining people who are now shining all over the globe, not just here in Goa. You see many of them here and you'll see many of them online. And for me, it's the greatest, it's a dream come true. It's because it's 
world peace coming to life. World peace, not the, the wishy-washy version, but the actual version of empowered people working together effortlessly for social change from the grassroots, making a change that was never seen before in society.